Do you have any regret? Do you have any shame? I don't think this is about me personally. I think this is about saving an organisation, saving thousands of jobs. I regret that the impact that this has had, absolutely I regret the impact this has had on 800 seafarers and their families. But unfortunately, it was a very difficult but necessary decision. And do you have any shame for yourself or your company? I don't. I don't think that my how I. I don't think I should feature in this. It's not. Uh, I'm not really worried about me. I'm worried about saving an organisation and thousands of jobs. And that isn't hyperbole. I really feel that this is a critical decision that had to be made. Otherwise, this business would have closed. A company director who breaks the law, I think, is a, a, a serious responsibility for any individual. Uh, I want to move on to finance before I move on to Liam Kerr in this area. The board of p and Ferries Holdings considered um, this business to be a going concern with its annual accounts when it was signed on 10th of December uh, 2021. So can you explain what changed in the last three months from a going concern to the summary sacking of 800 workers? The going concern with the support of our shareholders. What has changed is that uh, it is not appropriate for me or the P&O board to expect unconditional, uh, 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 unconditional um, support for a business that is without their financial support viable, without a plan to change. I think we have um, uh, received uh, extraordinary levels of support, as has the British economy, over £2 billion worth of investment, but it is not appropriate for the P&O board to continue to expect uh, unconditional support and have no plan to become a viable business in its own right.